כשרוצחים לך בת, זה לא דבר שאתה יכול לטאטא מתחת לשטיח ולהמשיך לחיות. This is Yusuf, my brother. He's my partner. He's everything. It's not enough to say I miss him. אני הייתי מלא ברגשות הקם. יש לי בבית שני אקדחים. לא רחוק מכאן היה אתר בנייה. עבדו שם פועלי בניין פלסטיני. לנקום. I was so upset. I said, no, I will not quit. I will do it. I will, I will get revenge. When you have this huge pain, and you have the way to use it as a power. On September 14, 2011, at a time of escalating tension due to the UN vote on Palestinian statehood, the Paris Center for Peace brought together bereaved Israeli and Palestinian families to donate blood, blood which could then be shared with those on opposite sides to save lives. <laughs> The Israeli National Blood Bank and an Islamic hospital agreed to accept blood from both sides. Inspired by the actions in Israel, a series of international Jewish and Muslim blood donations have begun. People from around the world who couldn't donate blood physically showed their support by donating virtual blood on Facebook. The event was featured on national news, reaching a staggering 24% rating. It was also covered by major international news networks. And this isn't the end of the story. We've started conversations with the UN, US Congress, US State Department, the International Red Cross, and more. Maybe the language of, of, of the blood is stronger than anything else. Could you hurt someone who has your blood running through their veins?